Hey there, I'm Jason Tong, a Teen Success Coach and welcome back to Parental Guidance. In this video, I'm going to cover the definition of EQ, Emotional Quotient or also known as Emotional Intelligence. IQ, as we know, is Intelligence Quotient, the measurement of a person's intelligence. Let's say you have an IQ of 120, you can't even actually increase your IQ your IQ stays around the level of 120. You can't bring it up to 140. But on the other hand, EQ is something that we can work on and we can improve on. It's something that we have a chance to improve. According to Daniel Goleman in his famous book, Emotional Intelligence, EQ is one person's ability to recognize and identify his and other people's emotions and use that awareness to regulate his behaviors and his interactions with others. Before I move on, I'd like you to press the subscribe button now because if you are a parent with teenagers, it will highly benefit you. I share stuff and tips and insights on how to build strong, loving, respectful relationship with teenagers every single week. So press the subscribe button now. And now I move on to look into the four parts of EQ. There will be self-awareness, self-management, Social awareness and lastly, social management. I'll go on it one by one. First part is social awareness. This means how well we know how we feel. How well do we understand our own emotions and feelings? When we fail at our exam, how did we feel? What are the emotions that we have? Will we disappointed? Will we upset? Will we angry? Will we nervous because we will have to tell our parents about it? What are the emotions that we feel or we felt when we fail our exam? Next, we move on to self-management. If we are able to understand and recognize and identify our own emotions, it's easy to manage them. For example, when I was facing a complaint from a customer, I was upset, confused and angry. Angry for being judged unfairly. I felt that I was being judged unfairly by the customer. That's why I had anger inside me. But once I was aware that I had anger, I was angry, I was able to regulate my emotions and make a sound decision on how to respond. I decided to apologize to the customer and sit him down, apologize again and I started with a question. Instead of trying to explain myself, I started with a question. I asked the customer to explain to me in more detail what made him so upset. And he went on and he told me so many things that, about things that happened and about how he felt about the things that has happened. So that conversation turned into something meaningful and fruitful between myself and my customer. I'll move on to the third part, social awareness. Social awareness is also known as empathy. The ability for us to understand other people's feelings. Now, feelings seldom come out as words. In my experience, people seldom say what they feel. People say the situation, people explain what happened, people start to blame others, but very seldom people tell you their true feelings about the whole incident or situation. They will tell you something more external and that makes it even more difficult for us to understand or empathize with them. But empathy or social awareness is something that we can learn and we can practice and we can train ourselves to improve on. First things first, we need to be able to listen. Listen for the sake of the other party. And then we try, try to tap on our instincts to feel what they feel. Using our instinct to feel what they feel. We might not be accurate all the time, especially when we are just starting to practice empathy. But the more we do it, the more practice we do, the better we will become. We will become more instinctive. Once we have high empathy, we can easily manage the fourth part of EQ, which is social management. How we respond to other people in a social setting. What do we say? What do we not say? What do we do? What do we not do? How do we behave? How do we tell people about what we feel? All these are part of social management, managing our interactions and thus managing our relationships. If a teenager has high EQ means one, two, three, four, all these parts are high, I can see that they are good at managing their emotions. 
they are also good at managing relationships. So in summary, EQ means a person's ability to identify and recognize his and other people's emotions and use this awareness to help him regulate his behaviors and his interactions with others. Is that important? It's very, very important. In fact, it's a critical ingredient for your teenager to grow up as a happy and confident young adult. Stay watching, stay tuned for my next video, which I will tell you how you can increase EQ. Cheers!